disgusted by the way the Dominican friars managed College of Santo Tomas, Jose Rizal decided to continue his studies in Spain. Dearest father and mother, by the time you will receive this letter, I am already aboard a ship en route to Spain. I deeply apologize for leaving without asking for your permission and blessings. I want to continue my studies in Spain. Also, because I am free there, I have a mission to fill. Alleviating the sufferings of my fellow men, I shall strive with faith and I shall win or lose. God's will be done. Please take care of yourselves. Give my siblings my regards. God bless. Respectfully yours, Pepe. While in Barcelona, Rizal was a frequent visitor in Don Pablo Ortiga E. Ray's house. There, he met Don Pablo's beautiful daughter named Consuelo. Senor Rizal! Don Pablo! By the way, this is my daughter Consuelo. Touch me like you do, ta ta touch me like you do. What are you waiting for? Well, I have some business to attend to, so I'll leave you two now. Okay, Consuelo, Senor Rizal? You're so beautiful, Senorita. I shall write you a poem and entitle it A La Senorita. Consuelo Ortiga So that is what I think that you should do. I agree, me amigo. Badly, deeply. Senorita. Yes? I... I do find you lovely, but... A friend of mine is madly in love with you. I don't want to break our friendship. And besides, I'm engaged. 
Won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Rizal moved to Madrid at the urgings of his brother Pashano and enrolled at Universidad Central de Madrid. He continued studying medicine and philosophy and letters. On June 21, 1884, he received his licentiate in medicine with the rating FAIR. Jose Rizal received a letter from his mother. Dear Pepe, Anak, I don't think we can give you your allowance this month. The petty hacienda manager increased the rentals of the lands your father cultivated because he was unable to give him turkey when he asked for one. But it's not his fault. A dreadful pest killed most of it. God bless Anak. Love, Mother. I'm so hungry. I have to go to school. He decided to go to school and participate in a contest in Greek language with an empty stomach. Because Rizal is amazing, he won a gold medal. Luckily, he was able to eat dinner because he was invited as a guest speaker in a banquet held in honor of Juan Luna and Felix Resurrection Hidalgo at Restaurant Ingles. Pero que podría haber nacido en España, porque el genio no conoce el país, las colas de genio en todas partes, el genio es como la luz, el aire, el patrimonio de todos, cosmopolita como el espacio, como la vida. On June 19, 1885, Rizal was awarded with a licentiate in philosophy and letters with the rating Sobresaliente or Excellent. Doctorate is of no use to me back at home. I will never be appointed as university professor at the College of Santo Tomas. After completing his studies in Madrid, Rizal went to Paris and Germany in order to specialize in ophthalmology. He particularly chose this branch of medicine because he wanted to cure his mother's eye ailment. Outside of his working hours at Dr. Weckert's clinic, Rizal relaxed by visiting his friends such as the family of the Pardo de Taveras, Juan Luna, and Felix Hidalgo. At the studio of Luna, Rizal spent many happy hours. He discussed with Luna, the great master of the brush, 
various problems on art and improved his own painting technique. How are you, my friend? It's nice to see you here. Welcome to my studio. These are nice paintings. Can you teach me how to improve my painting skills? Sure, why not? Music played an important part in all Filipino reunions in Barcelona, Madrid, Paris, and other cities of Europe. In a letter, he told Enrique Lete what he learned in his music lessons, and he also admitted that he could not sing well. By sheer determination and constant practice, Rizal came to play the flute very well. After acquiring enough experience as an ophthalmologist in Dr. Weckert's clinic, Rizal reluctantly left Paris for Germany. For a short time, he lived in a boarding house with some German law students. These students found out that Rizal was a good chess player so that they made him a member of the Chess Players Club. After a few days, he transferred to a boarding house which was near the University of Heidelberg. He worked at the University Eye Hospital under the direction of Dr. Otto Becker and attended some of the lectures at the university. The flowers are so lovely, like the ones we had in our backyard in Calamba. Rizal spent a three-month summer vacation at Wilhelmsfeld. He stayed at the pastor's house named Dr. Carl Ulmer. The family have been very hospitable to Rizal even though he's a total stranger and a brown-skinned man. Later, he sent a family letter of gratitude. One day, Rizal heard about Professor Ferdinand Blumentritt director of the Ateneo of Late Merits, Austria, that he has interest in Philippine languages. So, he wrote a letter that he would like to send a book written by Rizal's countrymen. Ich habe gehört, dass Sie das Studium unserer Sprache und dass Sie bereits einige Arbeiten darüber werden Flick erhoben zu mir. Einen Ein wird Wolfsburg von meinem Landsmann unserer Sprache geschrieben und singen. I like this book. To reciprocate Dr. Rizal's kindness, I'll give him two books.
Wow, these books are awesome. I'll write a letter to Ferdinand so that I can thank him. After long and frequent correspondence, they met and became best friends. By day, Rizal worked as an assistant in the clinic of Dr. Carl Ernest Schrager, an eminent German ophthalmologist, and at night, he attended lectures in the University of Berlin. Senior Rizal, nice meeting you. It's nice to meet you. I read your book entitled To Travel in the Philippines during my school days in Manila. So, thank you very much. So, I'll introduce you to some of my colleagues. Let's go. So, this is uh, Dr. Virchow, a famous uh, German anthropologist. Nice to meet you. This is my son, Dr. Hans. He's a professor of descriptive anatomy. Dr. Rizal, this is uh, Dr. Yoss famous German geographer and he is working in the clinic of uh, Karl Schweiger, a uh, famous ophthalmologist and I have some recommend recommendations about um, to be you to be a member of the Society of Anthropologists and Society of um, Geographer. So I'd love to. So thank you very much. I'd love to. His membership in these scientific societies proved that his scientific knowledge was recognized by Europe's scientists. He was the first Asian to be accorded such honors. Senor Rizal, will you do the honor of giving a lecture to the Ethnographic Society of Berlin? Sure. Thank you so much. In response to Virchow's invitation, Rizal wrote a scholarly paper in German entitled Tagalish Verkunst, Tagalog Metrical Art, which he read before the Society in April 1887. This paper was published by the Society in the same year. Quantos músculos voluntarios de la órbita hay? Cinco, dos, ni siquiera cerca. Doctor, creo que hay siete. Muy bien. Ahora, si me cojas de los músculos, no se puede mover el gobio ocular. Este músculo elevador para el brazo superior se eleva los párpados. Muy bien. Bonjour, Madame Lucie Chardot. Bonjour, Senor Rizal. Asseyez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Dire fra la simplicité et la beauté. Simplicité, beauté. Non, non, écoutez. La simplicité et la beauté. La simplicité et la beauté. Très bien. Rizal observed the German women as simple in many aspects, unlike the women in the Philippines who were more interested in how they dress than in how much they know. Another interesting German custom observed by Rizal is self-introduction to strangers in a social gathering. During this bleak winter of 1886, he lived in poverty and he got sick. Dear Pasciano, I'm trying my best to make ends meet. Please 